Hello all, welcome back to my channel. Today in this session, we are going to take up a question from pipelining. So as you all know that it's only a month left from uh, now to gate exam. So now we are going to focus on some critical questions which you may get in gate. So this one is from gate 2018 and it is from one of the favorite topics of crit which comes in the critical category which is pipelining and in this they have asked us to find the number of clock cycles given some scenario of instructions okay different types of instructions and then at the end they asked to find the number of clock cycles so let's see how we solve this question So let's quickly go through the question and then let's see what they have given us and what do we need to find. So over here they've said that an instruction pipeline of a risk processor has the following stages. Okay. And they say that instruction fetch, instruction decode, operand fetch, perform operation and write back are the five stages. And they say that all of the four stages, which are instruction fetch, instruction decode, operand fetch, and write back, all of these four take one clock cycle each for every instruction. Then they have given us a scenario now. Now, what is that scenario? Over here, they've specified a scenario, which is consider a sequence of 100 instructions. In each PO stage, 40 instructions take three clock cycles each. 35 instructions take two clock cycles each and the remaining 25 take one clock cycle each. So this is the variability in the different kinds of instructions which are present. In total, there are 100 instructions. Now, what else they have told us is that assume that there are no data hazards and no control hazards, then find the total number of clock cycles required for completion or execution of the sequence of instructions. Okay, so very simple question, just the variability is in terms of different instructions. Okay, so now how we solve this? So we follow the same method to solve this question. Standard method, first of all, jot down the things, important things given in the question. So that is what I've done. I have written over here that the variability point, which is PO stage. So in PO stage, 40 instructions require three clock cycles each, 35 require two clock cycles each, and 25 require one clock cycle each. And for all the instructions, what is same is that IF, ID, OF, and WB stages require one clock cycle each. Okay, so what is the next step? Then the next step is to draw that chart of, you know, find out what are the clock cycles required and everything. But are we going to solve it for 100 instructions? No, definitely no, because we don't have that much time. And also it is not an intelligent method to solve such a kind of question. Then what is the approach? The approach over here is to determine the pattern. What is the pattern uh, inherent in such kind of questions? Or what is the pattern in which clock cycles are being used? So in order to study that pattern, first of all, what do we do is we have clearly identified that there are three kinds of instructions, right? This is you can say type 1, this is type 2, this is type 3, right? So we have this information that there are three mixture of three types of instructions. So why not take one instruction at a time from all these three types and see what are the number of clock cycles being used and then try increasing the count of such instructions and check that what is the pattern being followed, okay? So over here, what I have done is, first of all, I have taken one instruction each okay from all these three types and i have tried to find the number of clock cycles now let's see what i get over here so first of all i1 as you can see i execute its first stage if over here then id then of and then po step takes three clock cycles so here are the clock cycles over here okay so po takes three steps one two, three, three clock cycles it has taken and then I execute the final write back step over here. Then I 
go to the next instruction now it is very obvious that if of the second instruction will only be executed after the if of first instruction so that is why it is taking place over here in the second clock cycle okay then id then of now of will not complete till po step of the previous instruction has you know completed entirely because it may it may update some of the operands as we have already studied right so uh, i have written it till here but you can also write it one step away and leave the rest blank it's uh, entirely up to you just uh, write something which keeps you clear till the end of the solution and you don't get messed up with the part and eventually it doesn't take more time okay so after this then i start with the po phase which starts just after the po of previous instruction completes and now this is going to take two clock cycles because the second type of instruction as you can see over here takes two clock cycles then after it completes over here i execute the write back step finally i execute the third type of instruction i3 again if after the if of previous instruction completes id of 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 till of of previous instruction completes sorry till po of previous instruction completes because it may update operands then po of this instruction after the po of previous one completes and finally the write back now if you count the clock cycles they are in total 10 so in total 10 clock cycles are required to execute a batch of instructions a mi mixture of instructions uh, which are in number 111 of all the three types okay so now just let's just analyze this so if i analyze this mixture of 10 clock cycles i get to know yeah that yes this was the constant part that if id of and write back would have taken one 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 clock cycle each and the part of apart from that uh, we have six clock cycles now this six could be a mixture now i'm just guessing over here right now that this six could be a mixture of three plus two plus one which is uh, the PO phase execution for each of the instructions. Okay, so this is just the primary analysis of uh, this scenario. Now I would repeat the entire process by taking two instructions each from all the three types. So the next step to determine the pattern in the same manner, I have again done the same procedure as you can see. Uh, the green one over here the green instructions over here these ones i1 and i2 these represent the instructions from first type since they are taking you can see three uh, clock cycles each in the po phase similarly the i3 and i4 instructions over here both of them are taking the are taking two clock cycles right so these represent the instructions from second category and finally i i5 and i6 are the instructions from third category or third type which are taking one clock cycle each to complete the po stage so finally if we count the clock cycles that we require to execute this batch of instructions mixture of six instructions two from each type we get to know that we took around we took uh 16 clock cycles right we took 16 clock cycles to execute this now if we analyze this if we analyze this mixture of 16 clock cycles in the same manner as we did previously to uh, analyze the first batch of instructions over here also i take out the four clock cycles for if id of and wb and the rest left are 12 clock cycles now these 12 clock cycles these will also be a mixture of batch of instructions of three po stages two po stages and one po stages right so similarly if you just count this this is three plus two plus one which is six so 12 could be two into six so in this way this is the pattern that is being followed so similarly similarly if you if you calculate the clock cycles required for executing the scenario given in the question which is of 100 instructions and also over there they have said that the instructions 
which are taking three clock cycles each for PO stage are 40 and similarly the ones which are taking two clock cycles each are 50 and the ones which are taking one clock cycle each are 25. So if you consider this scenario over here then what we can say is that number of clock, uh, clock cycles that will be required will be 4 plus 40 into 3 plus 35 into 2 plus 25 into 1. Now this, uh, if you solve this out, this comes out to be 219. So finally, the answer for this particular question is 219. Okay. So I write the answer over here, which is 219. So that's all for this particular question. I'm going to take some more critical questions from now. So stay tuned, keep learning, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you. Hope you liked this video. In case you did, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to support the channel. Also, if you're the one who has not subscribed to my channel but would like to see more of such videos, please press the subscribe icon and also click this bell icon to get notified with my latest videos. Share as much as you can to spread the knowledge to the world. I'll be back with more of such videos. Till then, stay tuned, stay healthy, keep learning. Thank you.